Hi my friends, welcome back to latest Royal Insider channel. Today I talk about did Prince Charles seize his crown as Queen Elizabeth's health declines, according to a report in The Globe, Prince Charles has snatched the crown away from the Queen, named himself temporary regent, and has no plan to relinquish the throne. The magazine quotes a so-called palace snitch as saying, he's completely in charge, adding that the Prince of Wales and his wife, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, couldn't be happier. The snitch continues, this was what he, and especially Camilla, have been waiting for. The supposed source further contends that Prince Charles is saying it's only temporary until the Queen recovers her strength, but Camilla's been guzzling her gin in celebration and braying drunkenly to her servants that they're in charge for good and everybody had better toe the line or else. The reason for all of this, so the tabloid claims, is because the 93-year-old Queen's health took a shattering turn for the worse. In addition to slamming the Duchess of Cornwall with the snide comments about drinking and bossing her servants around, the piece also takes a shot at Prince Charles's son and daughter-in-law, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The phony insider claims, Harry's Mrs Meghan is already in a snit because she's a big spender and the Queen is very tight with money after declaring Prince Charles will be in charge of doling out allowances to the family. The tabloid crams a lot of allegations into the piece, but none of them are accurate. This story is just an attempt to smear the royal family in an effort to sell papers, as is clear by the publication's transparent attacks on Camilla and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. For starters, there is no mechanism for anyone, not Prince Charles or anyone else, to temporary step in as the sovereign. It's an all-or-nothing position, and the laws regarding accession are set forth by Parliament. The only way for Prince Charles to become king is for his mother to abdicate, which she has said multiple times in the past that she has no intention of doing or for her to pass away. Prince Charles can't snatch the crown and the idea otherwise is just made up palace intrigue unsupported by any laws or facts. Secondly, it's long been public that as she has gotten older, the Queen has handed off more official duties to her son, but there's no indication that her health has taken a shattering turn for the worse. Just two days ago, the Queen officially opened a new session of Parliament, just as she has done in every year of her reign. Queen Elizabeth appeared with Prince Charles and read a prepared speech, as is the custom. Although the 93-year-old Queen is not as spry and youthful as she was when she took the throne in 1952, she appears to be just fine health-wise. One would also assume that, if Prince Charles were temporarily in charge, as the article asserts, he would have taken on this most important duty of the sovereign. He did not. Sadly, the Globe regularly prints salacious and false stories about the royal family and the line of succession. In December 2018, the outlet absurdly claimed Prince William was seizing the throne from Prince Charles by accusing his father of murdering his mother, Princess Diana. That outrageous allegation wasn't based on any facts either, like this current assertion. Gossip Cop corrected the phony story when it was printed and time and proven us right, just as it will with this current situation. Thanks for watching and don't forget subscribe my channel. If you have any question please comment below this video thanks you so much.